the the open AI folks had been very anxious about showing you this because your bar for AI had been really high. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it had been really helpful, actually, the push that you had made on all of us for like what acceptable high ambition AI would uh, look like. And so I, I wanted to ask you what what was that dinner like for you? What were your impressions? Like, what had you been thinking before? And, you know, like, what, if anything, changed in your mind after you had seen uh, seen GPT-4? Yeah, so AI has always been, you know, the holy grail of computer science. And, uh, you know, when I was young, Stanford Research had Shaky the Robot that was trying to pick things up. And there were various logic systems uh, that people we're working on, you know, so the dream was always some sort of reasoning capability. Um, overall progress in AI until machine learning came along was pretty modest. Um, you know, even speech recognition was just, you know, barely reasonable. Um, so we had that gigantic acceleration with machine learning, particularly in uh, sort of sensory things, recognizing speech, recognizing pictures, and it was phenomenal. And it just, uh, you know, kept getting better and scale was was part of that. But we were still missing anything that had to do with complex logic, with being able to say, read a text and do what a human does, which is, quote, understand what's in that text. And so as, as Microsoft, uh, was doing more with OpenAI. I had a chance to go see them myself independently a number of times, and they were doing a lot of text generation, 